I've always appreciated the fact that he's trying to help people think about unchurched people, getting people into a place where they're going to be in a position to be able to accept Jesus, to become Christians. But there's a little bit of uneasiness that I feel with this. Like, I feel like it's not dealing with the truth altogether. Like, I just wonder when they will. But I'm curious how you, you respond to that in trying to think about human behavior. I would say, Andy, if Andy called me, he won't. But Andy, not this Andy, the other Andy Stanley, Andy, you've gone too far. If we agree, and I think we would, that what they're doing in their lifestyle is destroying them, then we, we have to take a stand against them. We love them. They are invited to the church. They certainly can attend. They cannot, small groups, all that. However, they cannot serve and they cannot lead. That, that would be a violation of scripture because of the lifestyle. Any more than a, than a couple in their 50s who know Jesus and who are living together also, it'd be the same thing. Right. But this, this is this is this cultural creep. We know what Andy's trying to do. We want to be inclusive and have them come. And then maybe along the way, they'll make a change because of that love. No, they won't. Because what you end up doing is enabling. Wow. You're applauding. You're approving. You, you can't do that. You come alongside of them once you realize what's happening and the pastor and the key leaders have to be trained and on board. It's always done in love. We have a concern. We love to have you come here and sit under the word. But your but the lifestyle is is a sinful lifestyle. And that's because God says it is and because it's destroying you. And so let's let's work together when you're ready to 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 get you out of this lifestyle. Now, if they never come back to your church, you, OK, but that is a seed that's planted. And, and maybe it will impact them down the road. They're driving their cars, anybody in serious sin, over a cliff. They're going towards a cliff. And, and now Andy Stanley is, in effect, you know, standing by the side and going, yeah, hey, hey, I like your car. Everything looks good. They're going over the cliff. We have to get into the road and see if we can stop them. Wow. wow. That's, that's not fun to do, but that's, that's what biblical leaders need to do.